It was June 27th, 2025. At approximately 2.24 a.m., I received the following email. We're absolutely delighted to connect with you. My name is... And I'm reaching out from the Hulu's Creator Partnerships team. We've been consistently impressed with the high quality and unique content you share and the engaged and supportive community you have fostered. However, if you copy this entire email and then go on a website which checks whether something is written with AI or not, you will be surprised to see that this is a 100% written by AI. And this is just one of many red flags we're going to uncover in today's video about this sponsorship offer. But it also includes me uncovering the personal home address of the scammer, phone numbers, names, and many more information. So sit tight, relax, and enjoy the rabbit hole I am about to show you. Warning, this video does not promote or contain any illegal activity. When I say hacked, I'm referring to legally investigating, reverse engineering malware and tracing scam domains using the public tools and OSINT techniques. Everything shown here is for educational purposes and intended to raise awareness about online scams targeting creators. And if you want to learn hacking, to check out my course which is down in the description box below. If we take a look deeper at this email, we can see that the scammer tried to represent themselves as a Hulu representative. Hulu is a legitimate platform which provides streaming services. Down at the very bottom of the email, it tells us to also contact them via Telegram at Hulu Advertim and that they're eager to chat. However, I didn't have enough time to investigate that Telegram profile. Another red flag that I've noticed is that the email that was used to send this email was at asset.sk domain. I did navigate to that website, but from what I was able to understand, it's just a simple news website. By using Google Translate to detect the language that was used in this website, we can confidently say that this is probably Slovakian news website. The reason why I say probably is because I'm not 100% certain because I can also select Lithuanian language and it will translate it still very well. However, this uncovery will play a major role later on in the video, so just make sure to remember this little detail. Okay, back to the malicious email. When I first saw this email, I immediately was a bit suspicious, so I decided to play along with it. And this is what I wrote in my response email. Hi there, thanks for reaching out. It will be my pleasure to work with you. Can you please tell me your budget for this sponsored post? Cheers! Dead overflow. I sent this email on June 27, 2025 at around 1.42 p.m. And here is their official response and oh my, I have to tell you that this was one hell of a red flag email. Hello, the Hulu partnership team has been consistently impressed with the distinct personality you bring to your channel and the engaged community you have fostered. We have noticed a strong connection between you and your audience and we are excited to propose a partnership design specifically for you. We are offering an opportunity valued at six and a half thousand dollars where Hulu gains an authentic and seamless presence within your content during July. The reason why they're saying 6,700 instead of a round number, it's because money sometimes makes people blind and often very, very stupid. Ready to brainstorm and get started? You can access the partnership agreement and the supporting resources on our secure platform. And the partnership profile or portal is fast dash docusign.com and the access key is hulu 1089 when i navigated to the fast dash docusign.com it was obvious that this is a impersonation of a real website however i never was familiar with docusign in the first place docusign.com is a legitimate website used for electronic signatures while fast dash docusign.com is just a cheap version for scammers. The website is requesting an invite code and after entering Hulu 1089, we are greeted with the following website. It says your file is ready, click to edit offline and the edit offline just starts a download of a zip file, which I'm assuming contains malware. I opened the inspect element to see what is this thing behind it? Is this just an effect of a blur on an actual thing or it's just a blurry image? Turns out it's just a blurred image and there is no way for me to distinguish what was actually said on the image. The file that it has downloaded, it's called docusign-hulu.zip. When I extracted the files from the docusign-hulu.zip, I found two different folders, both of which contained the same files. These are the following files that I found within one of the folders, which is focus.dll, rockbro.qe, hardwarelib.dll, hulu docusign 28exe klook.hqh, rtl120.bpl, temperature.dll, vcl120.bpl, and webrest.dll. 
DLL. However, our point of interest is Hulu DocuSign 28.exe, which in the next episode on this channel, I will do reverse engineering on to see what it actually does. So make sure to subscribe not to miss that next episode. Okay, back to the email. We can see that this email mentions two different domains. One of them is Hulu.com, which is an official domain from the Hulu, and another one is fast-docusign.com. If you do who is on the fast-docusign.com, we can find some interesting things. The first important detail is that this website was registered on the 16th of June 2025 using name.com. If we take a look at the RDAP details, we can't really find much interesting stuff. We can see, however, that there is an abuse contact, which I will absolutely at the end of this video contact to have this domain removed. So yeah, it was frustrating. I was running low on domains to check. I was running low on details that could spark some ideas of how can I take this investigation further. And then I took a look at the email that was used to send this email. It was manager at hulu-max.com. And doing a who is lookup on this domain revealed a lot more interesting stuff. This domain was registered using Hostinger and it was registered on 21st of June 2025. However, if we take a look at the RDAP details, we can see that the scammer has leaked his personal address and his phone number. And the very fun part is that this number is starts with plus 370, which is a Lithuanian country code. We can also see that our fellow scammer is from Lithuania by looking at his personal address. However, I will have the address as well as the phone number blurred to comply with YouTube's community guidelines. So there was that. In the part two, we will actually go and do some dissecting on the malware, so make sure to subscribe not to miss that out. Thank you so much for watching, stay safe, stay responsible and ethical, and as always, Peace.